Hello everybody, uh, it's the Mongoose here. I'm at Judas Fancy here, uh, June 29th, 2021. And more and more of the seaweed's coming in, the sargasso. I figured I'd film this because I'm gonna start really documenting this. I would figure this breaks the record by about three times. And this is just unbelievable. I'm gonna walk down to that point down there. Give you a perspective of just how much seaweed is coming in. It's basically unbelievable. It's burying everything. Basically from all the way from uh, Altoona, uh, not Altoona, but over by the seaplane terminal, all the way to gentle winds. In two weeks, it's just gonna be like coffee colored water and stink like hell. A lot of stuff dead in here. Every whelk, every little, you know, shellfish type thing in here that's buried is dead. I'm seeing dead eels and dead fish. And this is a real wake up call. Just getting worse and worse. And I'm tired of hearing this shit blame on climate change because this ain't from climate change. This is coming from fertilizers, nutrients being ejected into the ocean by Brazil and other neighboring countries. They dump the shit right in the water. About 60, 70% of their raw sewage goes straight in the ocean. Then you got all the slash and burn, you know, deforestation, all that nutrients from the ash is washing into the Amazon and then, you know, being ejected out there. And you got about a, and then you got all the uh, petroleum based fertilizers, you know, all of it's basically fertilizer. And it's just making this stuff grow like crazy and it's drifting through the Caribbean. You know, so anybody that hasn't seen this yet, because it's not on the, the mainstream media, it's like it's been being covered up. This is a major thing. This is affecting every Caribbean island. All like Cancun, Mexico, the Keys, South Florida, the Gulf, Texas, you know, all the way up to Africa. You know. It started growing in front of the uh, Brazil. There's about a 2 million square mile area there where it's propagating. And it's just getting worse. This started in 2011. It's 2010 years. And all I'm seeing is just more and more of this stuff. And I notice when the seaweed comes up, I've been noticing odd looking fish that I've never seen before. I don't know where they're coming from. Got a picture of one of them. My brother saw them the other day at Jack's. And these are fish we've never seen before. I've noticed a lot more, uh, you know, plastic with Spanish writing on it. This is coming from Brazil. It's being, you know, fertilized by all that waste and sewage and stuff, burying everything. I mean, this is about as close as you get to the real thing, but this uh, even a video doesn't do justice. You can't smell it. You can't just get the scale of just how much seaweed this is. I know this coast, I've been walking this coast since I was 10 years old. Actually younger, so I was about eight years old. And they never used to get this, you know. So basically everything under here is dead. Every whelk, every little shelf, it's dead. And there's a lot more coming in. You can see the patches out there when you're up on the hills. This is a pretty major problem. You never even see it mentioned in the mainstream media. I mean, this ain't like just one aisle. It's a whole Caribbean, you know? The Gulf, all that. It's, this stuff is nasty, man. We're talking parts of, 
you know, up to seven feet deep on the edges. You know, unbelievable. They say nowhere will be able to swim here. You know, I would say not till the hurricane, you know, till uh, like September, till we get some storms passing by here, whip up some surf and winds to get it out of here. So basically, what you see there is nothing. What you'll see in two weeks, our water is going to be coffee color. There's a lot of false information on the internet blaming this, you know, it's coming from the Sargasso Sea, which it's not. The Sargasso Sea is out that way. Brazil's over there. That's where the currents come from. All you have to do is go up by Point Udon. You know, look at the uh, big patches of it coming in. Coming straight beeline from Brazil. And there's other islands that get it worse. Whole bays, you know, up to a three quarter mile out in the sea. It's, it's just covered with seaweed. A lot of hotels are closing down. You know, they can't make it with this in front. You know, your beachside hotel, how you gonna, <laughs> what are you gonna tell the tourists and this is what's in front of your hotel? Down here, DB, DB can't make it with this. And there's a lot of hotels, a lot of property that's being devalued. You know, people trying to dump their houses that live on the, the coast. The, you know, the parks that get a lot of the seaweed. It's unbelievable how fast things are changing. I mean, the rate this is going, this could be come 12, 12 months a year. Damn, I got these flip-flops and they keep coming up. I mean, this could go year round. Oh shit. Man, this shit is fucking nasty. That's how nasty that is. When this shit starts rotting, man. I should have brought some shoes, man. Didn't realize it was. <sighs> I gotta document this. This will be the last video I shoot of this area this year. It's pretty much, you know, way over record. I'm figuring three times. Yeah, I'm going to post a link at the bottom of this video in the description to show you where the seaweed's coming from. There's a marine biology site based in Florida that keeps track of this. Ah, I got some Wilsons, man. They got some locks. Yeah, people better wake up, man. There ain't gonna be no nature left, man. We're just dying.
I figure 20 more years, pretty much all the coral will be dead. All the reef fish will be gone. There's barely any left now. Dead eel. There was another one over there, but I missed it. Yeah, you know, they just, they're in their holes and seaweed buries them. It's fucking horrible. But I mean, this is a result of what fertilizing the oceans is doing, you know? <laughs> this whole coast is buried. Nothing will survive under that. I mean, who knows? We could turn the whole oceans into a you know, pretty much like Swampland. We're killing everything in there. You know, it won't be just the coast. It could be vast parts of the oceans. Now they got that, uh, what do they call it? The snot that's growing over there in Turkey. That's even worse than this. And that's another thing, fertilizer. You know? All that crown of thorns, uh, starfish in there over there in the Great Barrier Reef. Fertilizer. Can't blame that one on climate change. Can't blame man stupidity on climate change. Now how do all those evasive pets get here? We got we got boat constrictors on St. Croix. That wasn't climate change, those humans brought those here. The lionfish. Spreading all through the Caribbean. Can't blame that one on climate change. Human stupidity is what you're blaming on. It's nice to be able to blame everything on a one cause where it links everybody. Oh, you burn fossil fuels, you're part of it. Well, I stopped eating all local fish, so I'm not part of it anymore. Because <sighs> that's a direct result of people overfishing. And then you got stuff like this, which is human cause, which is killing stuff too. <sighs> Get down. Basically, like, if you stop eating fish, you are not part of the problem anymore. It don't matter how much fossil fuel you burn or whatever, you're not eating fish, period. Has nothing to do with climate change. Puts you 100% out of it. really nasty man I'm gonna end it here I'll put that link in the bottom of the description I'm not gonna walk all the way down it's just a long ways it's all buried all the way around And the big question is, is how much toxins are in this seaweed? I mean, this is being fed by, you know, all that runoff from the 
Amazon and other rivers up there. You know, I've read articles that say there's toxins in it. Others say no. I need to start sampling this stuff. You know? See what's really in it. Heavy metals, other toxins. I mean, over in the Amazon, they use a lot of uh, mercury and gold extraction. They dump it right in the river. So, uh, over there, they just dump stuff, you know, they don't give a shit. Fucking amazing. Let's watch this documentary over there, the Ganges River in India. They dump 3 billion gallons of sewage, raw sewage in that river every day. And that, that's just, that doesn't count all the chemicals, you know, from factories and all that stuff. Yeah, how long the ocean's gonna hold out? I would say not much longer. I'm thinking by 2050, pretty much all, all the commercial fish will be wiped out. There's no way they don't got a chance against today's technology. And the basically all the reef fish that go around the island and the, the fringe reefs are, are already at, I would say, 80 to 90 percent gone. The corals at 80 to 90 percent gone. Some areas almost up to 100 percent. So basically, that's all going to be gone. But this is horrible. And there's no way you could clean this. The only way I thought of, I'd have to put a boom out there behind Buck Island, a big V-shaped boom, but it'd have to be like seven miles long, be a lot of money and a lot of maintenance. A lot of money on the maintenance. That's the only way I could see of stopping it, deflect it around the island. But most islands wouldn't have that capability because they're too wide. This island's shaped like a big arrowhead. And the narrow points, you know, east. The base of seaweed's coming from that direction, Brazil. Sargasso Sea's over there. So it's 100% not the Sargasso Sea because the currents come from this direction. But the only way to really stop it is they got to clean up their act over there, stop dumping all that pollution in the ocean. That's the only way to stop it. It's just too massive scale here. We're talking millions of square miles with patches all over. It's unbelievable. Okay. I guess that's about it. Over and out.